Hey advisors, if you're looking for appointment tips for financial advisors or you're an insurance advisor and you're looking for appointment tips, this video is all about that. In fact, I'm super proud of what you're about to watch because it's an interview we did on a past power hour with Carmen and Darius Britt. They're the founders of Wealth Nation. Now, as advisors themselves, they were in a pretty rough spot to start off with and they were looking for any kind of appointment tip for financial advisors and insurance agents in order to start growing their practice because they were over $70,000 in debt and had run out of money on seminars, uh, buying leads, uh, trying you know all kinds of referral strategies. They had burned through their war market and they were just looking for some appointment tips that would actually work. So in this interview I did with them, I specifically asked them about their story and specifically how do they get themselves into a channel that's now over 123,000 subscribers doing over 96 appointments a month. Anyways, let's check it out this interview and then at the end I got a little surprise for you guys uh, to keep the journey going for appointment tips if you're looking for that and you're a financial advisor or an insurance advisor. All right, let's check out the video. I'm in this room and this is like only the top life insurance producers get invited to this thing. Like they're literally flown to Bermuda. We were staying at this beautiful resort, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I see, and like, let's be honest, you guys are the youngest people in the room, okay? <laughs> True story. <laughs> the, yeah, youngest people in the room taking the most notes while I'm talking. Like they had me put on a presentation talking about digital selling trends in life insurance. And so I was teaching all kind of what the trends are. And then I see Carmen and Darius writing. And afterwards I was like, I gotta go meet these two. Like you guys, like I, I was raised on Sesame Street. You know that song? One of these things is not like nice <laughs> the other. All right, so, so that was me. And so I said, all right, I'm gonna talk to these two. What are they doing? And he's so young and you know, like, wow, what's going on? Okay, so we, we, we had a chat, we go to the wine room and you guys start telling me, yeah, we, we started a YouTube channel. Um, you start telling us our story. And then do you, do you remember what I had my wife do at that time? Pull up a, a cell phone. Well, let's get a, tri a little tripod and a cell phone. Let's put some mics on. We need to record what these two are talking about. <laughs> we were in the yeah. wine room too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you remember that video, right? So yeah. I told I told my wife on A's, I said, babe, um, get out the tripod, use my phone and just hit play because what they're telling me is blowing my mind. <laughs> So let, I'm not going to spoil it. Tell me guys. So let's tell everybody, how did you guys get into this space? And what was the big struggle you had when you first got into it? I would say we first got into the life insurance industry because Darius and I were uh, real estate investors at the time. And so we learned this strategy where you basically use, utilize the cash value from your whole life insurance policy and use it to finance your lifestyle, so to speak. And so as we got more and more into this concept, many of many people have heard it called infinite banking. Uh, we, we just said, hey, we need to start teaching people this because we were so passionate about real estate, but it came to the point where we were some more passionate about teaching people how to succeed when it comes to their finances. And so we got licensed just to really kind of help our friends and family and didn't really think that this was going to expand to what we're doing now. And uh, we just said, let's see where it goes. And then once we got to the point where we started the business and said, okay, how do we continue to gain more clientele? Because uh, we, we burned through our friends and family list. We said, how do we get in front of more people? And uh, we were used to door knocking and mailers and driving around Phoenix, Arizona, like crazy people. And we just said, this isn't the lifestyle we want for ourselves. So how can we be more strategic in our approach for um, scaling? Mm -hmm. And so uh, long story short, yeah. what happened was one of our clients is a YouTuber and she just said, Hey, can you put some videos on YouTube? Cause when I'm thinking about this stuff at two in the morning, I don't want to call you. I just want to like, maybe watch some videos that you have. And we said, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. We put some videos up and next thing you know, things started changing for us. Yeah. So originally it was supposed to be a library just for our clients, but then other people started watching them and other people started calling us and we were like, man, we should probably set up some type of funnel for this thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Um, so it's interesting where, where like the necessity of that came from. And I'm sure a lot of people uh, have tried, you know, a lot of things you guys tried, right? You guys tried seminars. I remember you guys have a pretty funny seminar story. <laughs> yeah. So we, we started <laughs> off doing seminars, inviting uh, friends and family, and then it started dwindling down the, um, the, the audience, the audience. And 
we started finding it where it's maybe one person there and then it got to a point where nobody started showing up and it was just Carmen and I looking at each other <laughs> with this presentation and this um this board with just this the, the lonely walks up and down the hallway like all right anybody else did you looking at the janitor were you were you coming <laughs> is your phone on mute <laughs> Maybe so crickets stuck crickets in, in the hallway, crickets in the audience. <laughs> yeah. You guys were pretty serious in debt by oh, the yeah. time you had to turn to YouTube, right? And I love right, Darius's right. reason. Why, Darius, what was the reason you turned to YouTube other than the fact that it was for your clients? It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, because it was free. <laughs> 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 yeah. Free 99. Yeah. yeah, free 99. We have to use free our resources. 99. So when you, you, when you check your inventory, like I have a, I have a Google account. So that means I have a YouTube account. So I guess we're going to have to start doing these videos because <laughs> I don't know how we're going to pull money from any place else to continue doing these seminars or doing these mailers because it's not giving us the return to put back into our business. Yeah. We've all been through that as advice. It's kind of like a rite of passage. I think if you haven't grounded out and, and stood before an empty room, you haven't really earned your badge yet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, but you turn to YouTube and then Darius, you know, former, you're, uh, you're actually an engineer by trade. Um, yeah. You're um, a project manager by yeah. trade from corporate America. Correct. You guys turn to this for a better lifestyle. Uh, and you turn to YouTube and Darius, you being the hyper analytical engineering dude that you are, uh, what was that journey like for the first six months? You know, it was, it was tough because you actually, I didn't know where to turn as far as what videos we should be doing or the titles we should be doing. Um, so it was it was really difficult. But I would say the most difficult part for me was being an introvert is hitting the record button. Mm -hmm. That was the hardest part, hitting the record button. Okay. And um, how many shirts did you have to have? Oh my rate? goodness. So <laughs> the the hardest the hardest videos for us were the short uh, six minute videos. Um, reason being we were doing all the editing ourselves. Um, and Carmen, she's really good at talking without looking at notes, but I felt like I had to read word for word what I wanted to say. So every time the camera came on, I would get so nervous to where I would sweat through my shirts and I would go through maybe five shirts for a five minute video because I was so nervous. A shirt a minute. A shirt, a shirt a minute, basically. <laughs> it's like, wow, there's so many quick cuts in this video. They really yeah. cut this out. He starts with blue, ends with red. Well done, sir. You well, get my like and subscribe. Right. Well, the thing is, it took us about 45 minutes to an hour to record a five minute video. So yeah. uh -huh. that's where all the nervousness came in. It was always me messing up and Carmen like, come on, Darius, get this thing right. <laughs> yeah. We talk about this every day, all day. What's the problem? You're like, but it, it was a shift. Yeah, it was a shift. So, um, so fast forward six months into your journey, right? You had tried to figure this stuff out. You guys had tried all these different things, kind of hobbled together a funnel. What started happening? So what happened was we, uh, before, before we even had a thousand subscribers, we wanted to go to uh, Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. And while we were in Dominican Republic, we said that we were going to stay there for a month and we were just going to hang out and, and just, see if this is someplace that we want to travel to more often or even live. But while we were there, we started getting these uh, people scheduling appointments on our calendar. And we're like, where in the world are these people coming from? And then we- Who's uh, John Smith? We Why are we probing. meeting him on Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> and, and well, so, so a little bit of background. Uh, we went to DR as an, a reward for us because we had uh, accomplished putting so many videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of like our thing. We're like, all right, we're going to go vacation, give ourselves a break because, you know, pat on the back, we accomplished this thing. And while we were on vacation, all of a sudden we were getting these notifications, like Darius said, on our calendars. And we're like, how is this- how and did was, they get on our calendar? And it was back to back. I'm like, what in the world is going on? And we started asking, her, so how did you find us? Oh, I saw your video on YouTube. Oh, I saw, I saw your video on YouTube. You're like, what, where are you? Yeah. We're in Wyoming. Where are you? We're in Washington state. Where we're are in you? Texas. We're like, what? what? And so then it dawned on us like, oh my God, that thing that we put together, it's actually working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that thing in ClickFunnels that we like finagled, it's mm -hmm. working. And it just started spitting out the, these calendar appointments. And the best thing about it was these people were, were qualified and they were like, this is what I want. I saw the, the video that you made where you said the carriers that you work with, I already researched the carriers. 
years. This is the one I want to go with. Mm -hmm. This is the premium Mm -hmm. amount I'm comfortable with. And the calls were 30 minutes. And we were like, how, what did we do? (laughs) And you were, and you were closing them, right? Like 30 minutes to close. Okay. Yeah. 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 And and, 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 yeah, sorry. Yeah. And then, and closing 30 minutes and closing and like application and everything. We didn't have any second appointments. Yeah. And, and we were just so used to the, the world where you live in and you have multiple appointments, you meet with people twice, maybe three times, maybe four times, because you have to create the relationship. You have to educate, educate, educate. And um, the, the biggest thing for us, I think, that the the background story why we came to this conclusion is because we're always looking at our surroundings and the people who are around us and our mentors um you know we're, we're, we're full of knowledge but the one thing that we never wanted from any of our mentors was their lifestyle and i say that because we didn't want to we, we knew we wanted a family we didn't want to travel the country three four times a week uh, meeting clients. We, we wanted to meet clients as much as we could, but we also didn't want that to come at the expense of our family time. You know, we, we like vacationing. We don't want to have to, uh, work on vacation. And so we started to create these parameters around our business saying, these are the things that we want. This is what we don't want. How can we make a business work around the lifestyle that we crave Mm -hmm. and YouTube and the system that we created really has allowed us to do that. Right. That's beautiful. And then, so by the time you and I met, how many appointments were getting put onto your calendar automatically? And you guys were taking the calls and you guys were closing them at 90% close. How many, what was the number? Do you remember? Yeah, that 50s? time. It, no, it wasn't fifties at that time. It was probably twenties. Cause it was just us um, getting those calls. So maybe uh, 20, 20, 25. Mm-hmm. And by the time we first introduced you to shift nation, it was 56 because yeah, I remember I said, send me a screenshot of your, of your calendar. <laughs> and you're like, sure, here it is. And I'm like, what? but it was um, funny too. Cause it was the realization for everyone. Cause you know, we're, we're just kind of like in the grind in the business and we weren't really looking at the analytics and it wasn't really until we created our relationship, Jeremiah, where you're like, send us the numbers. And we're like, okay, just take a screenshot. You're like, no, send us the numbers. We're like, that, that's what it is. <laughs> That's actually what it is. And so you made us realize like, guys, what are you doing over here? And we're like, I don't know. We're just taking appointments. Literally, that's all we're doing is taking appointments. And and then we realized, okay, well, let's be smarter about our business. Let's start scaling. Let, let, let's let's bring a team in. We need help. Mm-hmm. Because to the point that I was talking about our lifestyle, we, we put ourselves in this lifestyle where we were working constantly. And we said, okay, remember Darius and Carmen, this isn't what we wanted. So what are the things that are important to us and how can we continue our business? Right. And when we started consistently getting the 60 to 70 appointments, we we had a problem where we couldn't take on as many uh, appointments because we also had a baby at the same time. Mm -hmm. So as we reduced our calendar intake, we had appointments scheduled out for about six months. And then we started getting a lot of nasty grams. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I want to buy from you now. How, how, how dare you make me wait six months? To Why get a can't policy? I give you my money? Yeah. <laughs> how dare you make me? I wanted to give you my money today. I'm putting up on the screen, the actual screenshot that you sent me back, back then. In the day. And it was funny. Like, remember I said, dude, you have to like delete the, like erase the last names. because we, <laughs> You don't want to let people know, you know, who these people are, but this is the actual screenshot, everybody of what their calendar looked like then. Now you're in the nineties, like it's it, easily, and you have a team and people are taking calls for you. Um, also one of the reasons why we're doing this is maybe Brits, can you share, uh, the latest big news that, that is coming down the, the Brit Pike, uh, literally coming down a brick Pike is <laughs> another baby, <laughs> baby number two, we're, we're, we're doing May. So, uh, we, we want to be able to continue to serve as much as we can before maternity leave. Right. And so we are like, Hey, Jeremiah, let's, let's do this again. Yeah. Because we knew last time, last time we had a baby, um, we weren't able to work. We actually took a few months off, but the appointments were still coming in. Mm -hmm. And we weren't able to field those appointments. So then when we got a team on, they were like, we need more people. (laughs) We need more people because this is not normal. (laughs) (laughs) And, and, and to, to, to be completely humble, like 
we have engineered this amazing system, but now with the amazing team that we have, like we literally couldn't do this without them no, and, not at all. and life would just not, not be the same. So I, I would definitely want to give a shout out to our team because we're without these amazing agents who continue to push and grind and educate themselves and, and serve our clients, everyone that comes to us. It, we just couldn't do this. Yeah. Just uh, to give you guys a shout out too. I had one Somebody asked me this question uh, from Shift Nation is, what is the YouTube channel? I can't find it. I'll go ahead and drop it on the screen right here. Um, and uh, congratulations, guys. You guys, in this just in the last six months, you cracked 100,000 subscribers. You're now at 124,000 subscribers. And your videos are just taken off. Like, like, just look at this, guys. Like, just amazing stuff. And we're going to talk about, you know, thumbnails, the whole journey of all of that um, and where that's led to. I'll take this and please guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So Brits, uh, any final words? We really want you guys to, to understand this and, and be able to move forward without some of the issues that we had in the first six months of our journey. Yeah. And I, I just leave everybody with that video is the future. Video is now. And then don't be afraid of video. Um, to, to Darius's point, he was very afraid of videos. And uh, I was horrible in the beginning. And, and we made it work. And it's just about consistency. So if you're thinking video is where you want to go, it is where you should be. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just going to take time. But, but, but you can do it. All right. Pretty amazing story, right? Well, the story doesn't end there. I actually have another video on our channel that I'd love for you to check out that's gonna go even deeper into appointment tips for financial advisors and insurance agents because I literally recorded them answering questions from other advisors about how to get more appointments using their YouTube channel. So um, you should see somewhere here a link to the next video which will be a deep dive. And this is really cool because it was an intimate setting. There's uh, lots of questions that came in and I know you're gonna find a lot of value. So if you found value in this video, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let us know what was your aha moment. Also, shout out to our buddies at Wealth Nation. Go ahead and check out their channel and watch what they're doing because they're getting over 90 appointments a month uh, using these YouTube-based strategies. And uh, if we miss something and you want us to cover something, go ahead and leave a comment below. We'd love to help you out. Otherwise, check out the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that bell so you'll never miss another update from Advisorist. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.